Hi students, let us continue with the topics of computer programming. So far we have seen the decision statements, if else, if statement, if else statement and uh, nested if else statement and uh, else if statement and switch statement. Now coming to the loop control statements. So if else switch or comes under the decision statements and let us uh, there are different uh, loop control statements are present in the c programming actually the main use of this loop control statements uh, use it to repeat state uh, set of statements so it repeat set of statement until the condition is satisfied so until one condition it repeats the set of statements that you call it as a loop state loop control Actually, there are three different loop control statements are present. Uh, the first one is the for loop. Next, while loop. And another is do while loop. So, these three are the different uh, loop control statement. Let us discuss one by one. The first one is the for loop. So, what is the use of this for loop? Let us see. Uh, the first let me write the syntax for the for loop so just like decision statements here also I'll explain the syntax flowchart and a simple program so for loop uh, first you have to write for here within the parentheses you are having three arguments for for loop those are first initialization So within the, in the for loop, initialization, semicolon, you have to mention the condition, semicolon, increment or decrement operator. So within that body of the loop, so it executes the body of the loop means the repeat set of statements. So until this condition is satisfy means uh, over it uh, executes the body of the loop this is a syntax for the for loop for loop initialization condition increment or decrement operate so first let, let us see this uh, this for loop is having uh, three parts one is initialization condition increment and decrement so let us see what is this first first one is initialization what it represents in the for loop initialization means here it is usually an assignment statement that is used to set the loop control variable so let me write it is assignment statement that is used to set the loop control variable so it is used to set the loop control variable that is the use of initialization next is condition what this condition means what this condition will do in the for loop so here the condition is relational expression you call it as a relational expression that determines when the loop will exit so when that loop has to be execute exit that will be tell by this condition when the loop will exit this is about the condition next one is increment on decrement operator so everyone knows will uh, uh, increment means increment by one value decrement means decrement by one value so until the condition becomes a zeros so here increment and decrement operator part defines how the loop control variable loop control variable will change each time loop is repeated will change each time loop is repeated okay so this is about the 
uh, increment and decrement. So here I explain this is a syntax and in within the for loop you are having three parts initialization condition increment or decrement operator. So this is about this uh, initialization condition increment and decrement. Here the loop continues to execute as long as the condition is true. So as long as the condition is true it will continue uh, executes means repeated state set of statements. So here whenever the condition means true or false it checks whenever the program continues with next statement after for loop means if the condition is this is over it continue with the rest of the statements in the program. So this is about the for loop syntax. Let me uh, explain the flowchart for this for loop. Let me write the flowchart. The flowchart for the for loop. So I said for for loop you have to use this symbol. So this I already explained in the first beginning of the C program uh, in the topic of flowchart. So this is a symbol we used for the flow uh, for loop. So here you have to write the initialization condition increment or decrement. So whenever this condition is uh, true, okay. So if the initialization is starting and that value will be incremented or decremented every time until this condition is satisfied it true whenever it is true it execute the body of loop repeated times so repeated times means it has to come like this so until it is true the body of loop will be rotating for loop okay if it is false it executes the remaining steps in the program so this is a flow chart now let me write the program for this uh, for loop program hash include stdio.h now I am writing the main so just I want to print the values so that I am writing int k is the variable I declared of integer data type. Now here I am checking for k is equal to 1. I am initializing the starting the k should be 1. And this k should be less than or equal to 5. And k plus plus. Printf. Percent d comma k. Exit the for loop. Exit the main row. So what it represents? So here it's saying it's checking first k is equal to 1. Okay. So the output is whenever the uh, whenever the k is 1, uh, 1 means 1 less than or equal to 5. Okay. The condition satisfied and the k is incremented to 2 next time. So first it prints the k value 1 in the output. So again it comes to here. So now the k is incremented. Now k becomes 2. So 2 is less than or equal to 5 okay this is correct so it it enter into this for loop and print 2 now the k becomes 3 now it's checked now k is equal to 3 because it is incremented after printing only uh, the k value will be incremented now it is checking 3 is less than or equal to 5 okay this is also true 3 is less than or equal to 5 now it enter into the for loop and prints the value 3 now the k becomes 4 so now it's checking 4 is less than or equal to 5. This is also true and prints the 4 value. Now it's checking 5 is less than or equal to 5. Okay, this is less than or equal. It prints 5. Now it is 6. Is 6 is less than or equal to 5? No, this statement is wrong. So it exits the for loop and exit the main program. This is the output for the for loop. So in the next video, I'll explain about the while loop. Thank you.